Marite. Okay, the press conference is called to order. <coughs> Vice President, please. Where is Mama? Okay, I'm, I'm not seeing any lady from the press. Are they? Mm -hmm. All right. Uh, thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen from the press. We have called you to this uh, press briefing so that we can bring up to speed to what we discuss this morning. The National Management Committee of the National Democratic Congress here and after called as the members of Central Committee, met and deliberated uh, this morning on the position of the President. We unanimously proposed and agreed to invite Honorable Dr. Tshimba Kambudu to take the lead of the National Democratic Congress. And I'm extremely happy that after persuasion, he agreed to take over the reins of the party. Therefore, at this moment, I wish to thank you, sir, uh, in presence of the press, for having agreed to our proposal. And uh, I, at this point, hand over to you, sir, to take over the deliberations. I revert to my position as vice president. Thank you, sir. <laughs> My discourse today and deliberation will be very, very short, extremely short, that I have accepted the endorsement from the National Management Committee here in court, the member of Central Committee, or Central Committee itself, that I become the president. <laughs> that it is now my singular honor and privilege to accept the position of president of the National Democratic Congress with immediate effect. Yeah. And in consultation, in consultation with Central Committee, the following changes have been made. Honorable Mwenyam Senge has been dropped from the position of Secretary General. 
And I have appointed, mm -hmm. in consultation with the Central Committee, Mrs. Bridget Atanga as the new Secretary General for NDC. Yeah. And I want to warn Mr. Mwenyamu saying he should not masquerade as Secretary General of NDC. And I want to tell all media houses that legal action shall be taken against any media house that is going to uh, to invite and refer to Mwenyamu Senge as the Secretary General yes. of the NDC. Yes. Our, Secretary General, our Secretary General is Mrs. Bridget Kalonga Atanga. Mr. Mwenyamu Senge has been moved to the position of member of Central Committee or indeed chairman of Chiefs and Traditional Affairs. <laughs> I have also moved Professor Atanga from being chairman of education to chairman of minds. I have appointed honorable Chishala, our new members of our new member of parliament as member of central committee and chairman of labor. Mrs. Savoy Imboela Udabo Mrs. Savoy Imboela Udabo as spokesperson of the party and chairperson for gender. Mr. Mishek Moyo will now be member of Central Committee in charge of information and broadcasting. <laughs> Mr. Kaonga moves from tourism to agriculture. <laughs> Mr. Luhila, Mr. Luhila takes over as chairman of tourism. Mr. Menyanizulu takes over as chairman of elections. Mr. Axon Simwizia has been dropped as member of Central Committee. He becomes an ordinary member of the party. If he so wish, he can stand for election as a ward chairman. The other portfolios of the Central Committee will be announced at the next press briefing. I want to thank the people of Luansha, the people of Ron in particular, for giving us our first ever member of parliament. You are good people, and you are people who are able to differentiate sense from nonsense. Because what happened in Luansha was a lot of nonsense, where the ruling party moved in thinking that because they've got too much money that they've stolen, they can buy the people and buy their vote. You, the good people of Ron, stood your ground and said, this is money that you've stolen from us. We are going to chew it. They brought milli meal. Some of them brought phones, but you collected all these material things and kept your vote on the NDC with its alliance partners, the UPND. I'll be failing in my duties if I don't thank the UPND and other alliance partners for the victory that was delivered in Ron Constituents. And I appeal to all the people to change their thinking. 
this idea of people coming with money to buy your vote must come to an end. If people know that you are suffering Zambians, let them bring money and milli meal in ordinary days. Then we appreciate that they care about our suffering. But this thing of bringing money in elections is corruption of the worst kind. So I today declare PF a corrupt disaster in the history of Zambia. I thank you all. Yeah. 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 Yeah.